What's up guys? So today I have this tank of a knife for review. This is the ZT0360 SKD. It's actually the Tiger Stripe version, so 0360TS.SKD. And it's got the black G10 with the glass breaker. So there's the box, which also comes with a extra pocket clip and it's got a Torx tool. And this is the first time that ZT has ever included either one of these and both of them in the same combination in the box. So that's really cool for them to have done. And here's the knife in the close position. It's got a really nice action to it. And right now this is actually de-assisted. I will reassist it a little bit later. I wanted to show it de-assisted first and then uh, kind of give you that comparison so you can uh, see, you know, the difference. But um, to me, the action is pretty much the same as far as uh, speed goes, but you can definitely feel the difference. But um, this is a medium sized knife, so I'll do some quick comparison so you can see where it fits. Let's see. So here it is against the Kershaw Tirade. Let's move this up a bit more. Against the ZT0770 CF. And the Kershaw uh, Zing in Damascus. So let me line them up a bit better. There we go. So there you can see the uh, ZT0360 is, you know, medium sized knife. It's about the same size as the uh, 0770. And you can see it's dwarfed by the uh, tirade. But even then, really nice size. I really like uh, just the overall feel. It's still a large knife, but not too lengthy. It's more compact, but it just feels, uh, you know, really good in the hand. And I think it's the right size length for uh, ADC use. So we'll do some quick specs. By the way, this uh, 0360 is 10% smaller than the 300 series, which it's based off of. And even more accurately, it's based off of the 350, which uh, this knife actually comes in 30% lighter than the 350. And that's quite surprising since they are the same size. The main thing is that the blade was um, redone. So you can see that difference. And then it's got uh, one other difference that I'll mention a little bit later. But the overall length of the knife is 7.875 inches, blade length is 3 and a quarter, and blade thickness is 0.13 inches. So it's a pretty nice thickness, not too thick, but not too thin. It's uh, really nice. Can handle, um, you know, a more heavy duty use, which this knife is built for. But um, still pretty thin behind the edge, which makes it, you know... Still a pretty good slicer, along with that recurve. And I really like just that really nice sharp tip. Looks really cool. Handle length is 4.625 inches, and the handle's thickness is half an inch. The knife is 5.6 ounces, so even being 30% lighter than the 350, it is still pretty uh, heavy. The blade steel on this knife is CPM S30V, and um, you can see all the information on here. I actually got a really low serial number at number 15, so I was really happy with that. I'm not sure how many of these were made, but being that this is the Tiger Stripe version, I know these are pretty limited. There's maybe the 300 of them out there. To get it in this brand new condition in the box with the tool and everything is just really awesome. The um, blade shape is kind of hard for me to, 
to say exactly what it is. It's more like a, a modified straight back, I guess, drop point with the recurve. And it's got this nice tungsten DLC coating with the uh, tiger stripe finish. It's got a nice flat grind, so it still uh, works well for cutting in that plain edge. The uh, knife is speed safe assisted, and it is a flipper that uh, runs on Foster Bronze washers. But like I mentioned, this one is de assisted, and it flips out really nicely. It's got really good detent strength. So, uh, yeah, no problem there. It's uh, actually quite surprising how nice it de assisted. The carry on it is uh, quad carry, so you have tip up, tip down for both sides, which is perfect. Right now I have it in tip up for right side. And um, I don't really like this pocket clip, but looking at the overall design construction, I think this clip probably works out the best. The retention is super strong, so it is kind of hard to get in and out of the pocket. And then the fact that the handle is made of this really grippy black G10 is um, makes it even more difficult to get out of the pocket since you know there's not a smooth side in here to kind of make it easier to get in and out. So with that retention and the grippy G10, it's kind of a pain. But um, it does work well. I mean, it's gonna stay in the pocket no matter what. And if you like to carry your knife in your back pocket, it probably works out even better. And for the handle material, I mentioned the uh, black G10, but it's also got these really nice thick um, stainless steel liners. And it's got that little glass breaker, if you can see that there. Very small, just anacious out of the way, but um, it does the job. And that's something really nice to have on a tactical knife. And, um, you know, something that's uh, pretty cool as an additional feature, which was what I was going to mention earlier. But yeah, carbide, so very strong. The knife has a lanyard hole and backspacer G10. It's got really nice jimping for the thumb. It's nice and toothy, very grippy. But what I like about it is that it's not um not that uh hurtful as far as you know when you flip a knife it doesn't rub against the finger since these are you know rounded so it makes it even better um as far as you know flipping the knife since i don't feel like it's gonna scratch me up like other knives do it's also got this nice jimping on the back end which is gonna be perfect when you uh, hold it in a reverse grip it's got that nice grippiness and I'll mention that a little bit later as well. The, um, let's see. Oh, the flipper tab has no jimping, but it is perfectly angled with that like little scoop to make it really nice for the finger to rest on there and get it to flip well. And that uh, works out nicely when it's in the open position for uh, the finger to lock up against. But again, I'll mention that in more detail when I talk about ergonomics. It's got a really nice cutout here to access the lock bar. Very easy. Very easy to move the liner despite being thick. So easy to close, open one-handed. And uh, being that it's speed safe assisted, um, originally very easy to open one handed, which is going to be perfect if you have gloves on, um, which is something you might end up having due to the purpose of this knife in general. You know, this is a heavy duty workhorse knife, so you're more likely to be using gloves with this type of knife or, um, you know, in tactical situations, same thing. You might have gloves on and 
in those situations, it's nicer to be able to open the knife quickly and be able to um, access that liner easily and close the knife. So, very nice. It's got these dual thumb studs, which are stopping pins for the open and close position. But on the uh, right side, as you can see here, and then the left side, um, this one is used for the close position while this one is still accessible to open the knife. And you can, you know, flick it out as well. Um, so, whatever you prefer. You have that option along with the flipper. It is a little bit harder to do if the knife is assisted, but being the assisted at the moment, it's uh, very easy. But I'm not right-handed, so that's not as uh, easy for me to do. But still easy to flip both ways. So as far as the um, blade edge bevel goes, they did a really good job on the grind. Nice and symmetrical on both sides. The plunge grind and choil grinds are all very well machined. Everything uh, turned out really nicely. Lockup on the tang is at a uh, 40%, which is exactly where I like it. It's perfect. And lockup and play, as far as the blade goes, is absolutely none. Moves not even a single millimeter micron anything it's very solid very strong it's uh really nice sturdy as far as centering goes um the knife is a tad bit over to uh the clip side when um i had the torsion bar in it was still the same and um even if i try to unloosen this i don't know that's just where it stayed so it's about 48.52, but it's not that bad. I mean, it's still, you know, nicely centered, close enough. So it's not bad. It's not rubbing. It uh, looks good either way. So the uh, 0360 was born from its predecessor, the 350, and that came about as a collaborative effort between ZT and SKD tactical. The uh, 360 was put on that high protein, low carb diet. And um, it's just leaner and meaner. It's got that really lethal looking profile, 30% lighter, but still retaining that nice strength without having to compromise. Uh, the lighter weight makes it nice and easy to um, actuate the blade comes out faster and uh, it's just uh, an elevated form of the 350's badassness just making it even better with that straight spine that sharp looking tip it uh, is very aggressive and incredibly strong for penetrating capable of cutting really well still despite the thickness of the profile or the uh, blade I should say you know with that high flat grind nice recurve just gives it a really nice slicing ability and at three and a quarter inches it's the perfect size shape and um, yeah you can pretty much handle whatever you're gonna throw in front of this and to top it off the tiger stripes just make it even more awesome it's uh, a really killer look to it the 360 is, you know, a superb work tactical knife. It's got that heavy-duty build quality. It's compact, it's bulky, but, uh, you know, it's strong and grippy in the hand. It's, uh, you know, even more tactical with the uh, unobtrusive, almost hidden glass breaker here. You know, unlike um, Microtex, which are quite large and... You know, they're uh, very visible and kind of a part of the knife where this is just inconspicuous. Nothing against Microtech, but, you know, sometimes you might want something like this over uh, the large bulky ones that are built onto theirs. Even though you can take those off if you have the tool. 
but you know that's something you're gonna have to pay for and not everybody's gonna want that the uh, 0360 it um, does retain the speed safe mechanism that the 350 had but even then like I said you can de-assist these knives which is really cool it's a nice option to have um, I de-assisted it to just try it out but I was really pleased with the fact that it worked out very well um, you can't always guarantee that you know if you de-assist a assisted knife it's gonna end up working because uh, sometimes they might not flip well enough the detent strength might not be good enough um, you might get a blade play or un, uh, or bad centering and you know a lot of times those things can make a person not want to uh, de-assist it so you know you end up leaving it assisted which again some people enjoy I don't mind it but um, I do prefer a manual knife manual action I think it's just nicer and once I de-assisted de this one I felt like the quality of it went up even more and I just felt like it um, you know just flipped better and felt better overall it was really nice. I uh, ended up polishing the phosphor bronze washers and then I polished the uh, area where the washers sit on the blade just to kind of make it a little smoother as well. And um, I didn't even have to mess with the, the lock bar, push it over more to try to get the detent ball to sit in the hole better. I just left it as it is and it um, ended up working very nicely I was very pleased with it it flicks out like I said just as fast as uh, it would if it was assisted but you know you don't have to get over that initial resistance before the torsion bar takes over and it's even easier to close the blade one-handed so again that was uh, that was user failure again I was really pleased with them um, just the way it worked out, the way it turned out, and the overall feel. No problems with it, so that was really cool. Um, but yeah, detents, nice and strong, flips out aggressively, and it, uh, again, does as well as it would, even with the torsion bar in there. Um, so yeah, I really like the fact that I was able to get a manual action out of this. But even then, I would still have to conclude that this knife is probably more suitable with the speed safe assisted mechanism because of uh, just the overall design of this knife and what it's made for. Since it is a heavy duty tactical knife, um, you know, that speed safe assisted mechanism makes more sense to me. And it's going to be easier to open one handed for the jobs that you're going to require from it. Um, in certain situations if you need to defend yourself that's gonna come in handy and you just might need to leave the knife like that depending on what your use is gonna be for its requirements and just your overall preference but either way it still flips good whether assisted de-assisted very strong well built and it just retains that overall high quality from uh, the superb fit and finish it's um, really nice. And ergonomically, the ZT360 has a uh, overall simple build construction, but the, designs, the design ends up being um, far from plain, you know, without being overdone. The knife has really nice lines. I mean, just look at that straight back spine, like I said. Uh, that's just really nice looking. The curves of the handle and just the overall profile are very well done. It really serves the uh, primary function of this knife very well for its uh, you know heavy duty use. Even though the knife is bulky, you know just the overall look and build. It's um, you know not overly large. It's the right length, I would say. You know, being under eight inches, it's still pretty compact, but it's really sturdy feeling in the hand. 
ergonomically that handle feels really amazing um, as soon as you grip it I mean that thing just locks into place you can get that hammer grip on this and you just want to start batoning and beating on whatever's in front of you it's just a, a really lethal you know strong feeling to have it's sturdy it's just very nice in the hand very comfortable it fills out the hand very well the dimensions um, almost seem to just mold to the overall hand in general everything is right where it should be feels right how it should feel it's super solid and like I said it's ready to just blast through uh, whatever you put in front of it it's um very nice you got that really large finger groove here and how I mentioned that this is perfectly um, placed that roundedness just allows you to lock up in here nicely that bump which sometimes can really bug me depending on where it's placed is uh, perfect since these three fingers are right where they need to be and your middle finger doesn't end up being in the middle of that bump which can be uh, really annoying so these lock up nicely that curve allows them to rest comfortably that flare at the end kind of acts as a little bit of a backstop just allows everything to rest up where it should be locks in place it uh is really superb this top here sloping the way it does will uh, nest in the crest of your palm really really uh, well it locks in place again and then with that subtle thumb ramp just everything sits where it needs to the thumb against that nice toothy jimping is um, locked in place real grippy and again with the G10 the way it's grippy everything is where it needs to be and it feels very functional very solid and very comfortable I really like the ergonomics on here they just feel really good and it uh it works better than I thought it was gonna be when I first looked at this knife it's really the perfect handle construction in my opinion um, and then again in a reverse grip it feels just as good I mean there's no complaining here it might even feel even better than the normal grip and with the uh, jimping here that thumbs gonna lock in place and if you're in a situation where you need to use this for tactical purposes defend yourself I mean I have no qualms about whether or not this is gonna suit my needs if I were in that situation and whether or not um that grip is gonna serve the purpose that I'm gonna need from it in that situation along with that pointed blade I mean this thing is gonna be highly reliable in all of those aspects it's it's a really nice feeling it's snug in the yeah just immediately gives off that well-built strong vibe capable of handling anything that I'm gonna require from this knife so for some final thoughts uh, all in all I'm very impressed with this knife with the collaborative effort that uh, ZT and SKD did to transform the already badass 350 into a meaner and leaner and badder 0360 I absolutely love this blades profile and just how aggressively lethal it looks I mean come on look at that blade it's it's just really cool with the recurve it adds even more goodness to it and the tiger stripe finish is just that cherry on top but uh even better it's you know it's an already great knife and that look finish to it is it's really cool and um the knife in general has got a really nice blade to handle ratio works out very well I really like the compactness, just the full bodied build of the knife. Um, despite it being a little heavy, you know, I can trust that it's going to perform very well. It's going to live up to my expectations or um, anybody's expectations that's going to want a solid 
work knife, tactical knife, because it's got that build quality and fit and finish that um, you can trust from a ZT knife. You know, the glass breaker's great as a bonus, and even being speed safe assisted, it ends up being really good. Um, it's highly functional. It's a cool looking knife. And um, I'm just really pleased with it. Being able to de-assist this knife while retaining that great action elevates this knife to an even more exceptional level. In my opinion, I'm very satisfied with it. I uh, really, really like this knife. It's, it's just really cool. I'm very happy to have this one for my discontinued ZT collection and just my overall knife collection in general. This is definitely going to be a staple in my collection, and I'm uh, pleased with the fantastic effort here by ZT, and they made a really cool tank of a knife, but that's all I got for today. This was uh, quite the long video, but I had a lot to say for uh, this knife. It's just that great, but um, yeah, please like and subscribe. I got many other knives I got to get through. Um, more content for you guys, but I hope you enjoyed. So again, please like and subscribe and have a good one guys. Later.